How you doing everybody, Nick DiVirgilio here, and today's video is on the Mackie Pro FX version 3 line of mixers. Now in front of me today I have the 12 channel version of the Pro FX mixers, but they're all relatively the same. So I'm just going to show you the bells and whistles on this one, and whichever mixer you get, it'll work the exact same way. Okay, let me quickly take you through the features of this mixer. One of the main differences between version two and version three are the Onyx mic pre's. Onyx mic pre's for Mackie have been around for a while and they are super clean, get a lot of headroom, up to 60 dB of gain, and they just work great all of the time. On this 12 channel version of the Pro FX mixer, you get seven Onyx mic pre's. The first two channels are dual input, so you can plug a quarter inch table directly in for your guitars and or your basses. There's line inputs on the rest. Then you have four stereo inputs. You have five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, where you have XLR inputs plus your quarter inch jacks. And on 11 and 12, there's an eighth inch input for your phone or anything like that. So you can stream music directly on that channel. Now this channel also 11 and 12 is your USB input and output. There's a two by four USB two interface in this console. So you can stream directly back and forth from your computer. You can record directly from the mixer Say you have this mixer at a gig, at a wedding, something like that, and you're going to take a break and you want to stream some music while you're on break, you can easily do that as well with this stereo input right there. On each of the first seven inputs that have the XLR input, there is a low cut filter at 100 hertz. There's your gain knob all the way across. And on the first four channels, which is a very cool feature, is a one knob compressor. I'll demonstrate the compressor a little bit with the bass guitar and my voice in just a couple minutes here. Then we get down to the EQ. You have a three band EQ on each channel, including the USB channel. You have your monitor knob where you can send different mixes to wedges on the floor, anything like that. Your effects knob where you can turn up and down the effects level. Pan, of course, mute buttons, and these faders. These faders feel really good. They're very smooth and they have a nice touch on the fingers, which is important when you wanna push faders up and down. At the bottom of the mixer, the buttons down here are your routing buttons, one and two, Route signal to a sub if you so choose. You have your main left and right outputs and then a pre-fader solo button down here at the bottom. And if you do press the pre-fader solo button over here on the right, the rude solo light lights up and flashes so you know you have one of those buttons pressed. Let's get to this side of the mixer now where you have your inputs and your outputs. Of course, you have your main left and right right here. You also have main left and right with quarter inch cables if you need. Monitor send and effect send right next to that. You have a control room and a sub out quarter inch connectors right here. Right over here you have a foot switch and a headphones jack and the foot switch jack is actually very cool because you can connect a foot switch and turn your effects on and off if you so choose. There's 48 volt phantom power for all of the inputs right here with this button so you can connect condenser microphones very easily. The effects section is right here and the effects engine in the new version 3 of the Pro FX mixer is really nice and there's some very cool effects which I'll demonstrate for you in just a second. You have your aux master button, your effects to monitor button, and right here, this is a cool button. This is a blend button. Now, again, I told you there is USB recording with the mixer. You can stream back and forth. And with this blend button, if you have it turned all the way to the left, you're gonna hear all of the inputs. If you have it turned all the way to the right, you'll hear the USB input. And if you put it somewhere in the middle or anywhere in between, you're gonna blend the two inputs so you can hear what's going on. It's a very cool feature. Headphones, volume, control room volume, and your faders for the effects, your sub, and your main outputs. These are really simple mixers with great sounding features, and you can use them, again, for all kinds of different situations, musical and non-musical. Say you're into podcasting or getting into podcasting. I picked this Shure SM7 because it's a great microphone for podcasting and for singing in the studio. I use it all the time in the studios, but it sounds great for situations like this, and you can go through this mixer. You have a little bit of compression, some great EQ, and if you're doing a podcast from your home, this could be a great solution for you. If you get into the bigger mixers that have more inputs, you can easily use them for all kinds of situations like house of worship settings, a permanent installation into a club. If you're a band, you're rehearsing at a rehearsal studio, you need enough inputs for your whole band. These Pro FX line of mixers can be great for all of those as well. And the USB sounds really good. It is 24 bit all the way up to 192 kilohertz. So you get great resolution from the digital in and out. So that really is all the features of the mixer. So now how does it sound? You hear me talking through it right now and it's completely flat. I haven't touched any of the EQ at all and it sounds really clean through this great Onyx mic pre. But now let me adjust the EQ a little bit and you can hear how it works. It's really simple. Just turn the knob and go. It starts right away. So here's some of the high end, all the way up. Check, check, one, two. You can hear how it's getting brighter. Nice and clean. 
Turn it all the way down, it gets a little bit muddy, but sometimes you might want to turn some of that high end down. Same with the mid, up and down. And if you want to get bassy, there's some bassy right there. Oh yeah, nice and low. Sing your R&B tunes with a lot of bass turned up. Oh yeah, okay. So I will leave a little bit of the high end turned up just to make it a little bit clear. So now you get down to the effects, and I said the effects are great. You have all kinds of different sounding effects from reverbs, delays, echoes, choruses, flanger, distortion, slapback, spring reverbs, early reflections, all kinds of stuff. So what's cool about that is if you're going to use this as a recording interface, you plug your bass and or guitar directly in, and you can use some of the effects to record with. I'll do that in just a second for you on the bass guitar. So let me take you through some of the highlights of this great effects engine that it has here on the Pro FX 12. Here's your first basic bright room reverb. Again, just turn the knob up and go. Reverb, reverb, hello, hello, hey, yeah, yeah. That's a nice, long, bright reverb. Go down to the next one. You'll see it flashing. All you have to do is press the button to engage the next effect. Check one, two, some more reverb right there. Again, a shorter room. Hey, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Effect number 12 is delay and reverb. Check one, two. Hey, hey, hey. Check one, two. It's dry. Turn up the fader. Hello, hello. Hey, yeah. Really, after you find the effect that you like, it's just about getting the right blend. Let's check out a couple more. I like this one a lot. This is the ping pong delay. Check, 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 check. Hello, 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 hello. It's going back and forth in my brain right now. It's a lot of fun. Need to get a little angry, a little angry vocal? How about some distortion? Oh yeah. You hear it distorting? Uh-huh, yeah. Get your rock and roll on with that distortion effects patch. And the final one I'll demonstrate on my voice here is the flanger. Ooh, it's getting trippy now that's flanging through our brains. It sounds great though, it's really clean and it's so easy to use. Just turn the knob up, turn the fader up and you're good to go and it sounds great. All right, I've now strapped on this gorgeous Rickenbacker bass Again, it's so easy to use through this Mackie Pro Effects mixer. Here it is clean. Straight in. The EQ on the bass is pretty much straight up, and EQ on the board as well is pretty straight up. Let's add a little bit of low end. Maybe back off the mid-range a little bit, which I like to do on basses sometimes. Give it a little bit of high end. I'm smiley facing the EQ right now, aren't I? It sounds good. Now let's check out the one knob compressor feature. I had it a little bit on my voice the whole time. You know, a compressor is just there to kind of smooth out the edges. The one knob compressor feature on here is not going to be a huge compressor effect like if you crank down an 1176 and you push all the buttons in and it's smashing it was right in your face. This is a nice, mellow, smooth compressor, but again, it's very smooth and it works really well on this bass and it's been doing great on my voice the whole time here. All right, the compressor is all the way off to start with and then I'm going to turn it all the way up. Here we go. So with the compressor all the way up, the sustain is a little bit long because it's the release is a little bit slow. But again, if I just pound it, it's going to keep that transient. Just knock it off just a tiny bit. Let me turn it all the way off and do that same riff. So if you want to smooth out your voice, a bass, a guitar, anything like that that needs a little bit of compression, this one knob compressor is a very cool solution for that. And one of the last things I want to do here right now is play some of the effects with the bass guitar because they really work well, especially again with the recording feature. And I'm going to start with one of the chorus effects. Here we go. Chorus number two. You can hear it's a little more warbly, a little faster in the chorus effect. This thing sounds really good with the overdrive effect that I did with my voice earlier. That's a really cool sounding distortion for the bass guitar. So if you need a little distortion while you're recording on your track, it's so easy to get it going 
with the ProFX mixer right here. How about a little bit of Ottawa to get your funky bass guitar playing on? Here we go. Before I finish off this video about the Mackie Pro FX line of mixers, I want to let you know that it comes with a version of Pro Tools, Pro Tools First, and you also get 23 plugins to use with Pro Tools. It's very cool. It also comes with the Waveform OEM DAW, and you also get a DAW Essentials collection of 16 plugins you can use with any DAW. So again, you can get right to recording in your home studio with the Mackie Pro FX line of mixers. And there you have it, everybody, the Mackie Pro Effects line of mixers. And this is the version three of the line of mixers with the great Onyx Mic Pre's. From six inputs all the way up to 30 inputs, you can use these mixers in any kind of musical and non-musical situation. If you want any more information about this Mackie product or any other Mackie product, just contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. Thanks a lot for watching.